Is it really that simple? Is it really that easy? That God would want us to believe and he will simply do it through the faith that we have. So today, let's talk about faith. Hi, my name's Pete and this is Shauna and we're ordained ministers in the Church of God. On a daily basis, we invite you to our home to share in our Bible study process. This is how we disciple our family and we hope you choose to do the same. So joining us today as we discuss Romans 4, 1 through 3. The scripture actually says, When then shall we say that Abraham, our forerunner according to the flesh, discovered in this matter? If in fact Abraham was justified by works, he had something to boast about, but not before God. What does scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited unto him righteousness. That's right. So Abraham, Father Abraham, who God chose to uh, make a covenant with, um, who God chose to spend quality time with, he was actually counted righteousness because of his faith in God, not because he was keeping commands or laws, which he did do. Or circumcision. Or circumcision, all those things. He was obedient to God, but it was his faith in God that uh, brought about the righteousness. Something amazing about Abraham was he truly simply believed God would do what he said he was going to do. That's right. And we have to be willing to do the same. You know, there was a lot of big things God asked him to do. He said, leave your family, right? I've got, I've got a land prepared for you, right? He left them. He, t- he took off. He went without them. He said, you're going to have a child, but you're 100 years old. Abraham didn't think, didn't even phase him. His wife laughed and giggled a little bit, but he was like, all right, bring him on. Do you know what I mean? And then he's like, oh, wait a minute. I need you to sacrifice your son to me. Mm-hmm. You're I, your child of promise. Yeah. Right. He said, and, and the book of Hebrews says, you know what? He thought, he really thought that if he had killed him, God would just raise him back That's up. Right. Uh, he had that faith. He knew mm-hmm. God was going to come through for him, right? No matter what God asked him to do, he acted out his faith. Yeah. He was going to provide. God was going to mm-hmm. provide. Um, and uh, when God speaks to us, we should have the same kind of faith mm-hmm. that Abraham does. We should have the same kind of trust um, and devotion to the Lord that Abraham had. Um, that's what God is calling us to do. You know, uh, we recently did a study at church on the book of James, and the book of James is basically talking about your faith in action, um, talking about a working faith, mm-hmm. uh, an active faith. And, uh, you know, Abraham just didn't speak that he was faithful to God or that he had faith in God. He showed that. Right. And, and just imagine, man, as a parent, taking your child, your child of promise, the one that you had waited on for so long, and God saying, okay, I want you to sacrifice your son to me. Um, it would be very difficult for every one of us to do something like that. Uh, but he did it because he believed that God was who he said he was and that he was going to watch over his word and perform it. Right. Uh, I once heard a story of a tight, well, a tight rope walker. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he was doing this event over a canyon. And he was walking back and forth across the tight rope. A great crowd uh, joined in to watch him. And they began to cheer for him. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going back and forth, back and forth. He started to do stunts on the tightrope, right? He started to ride a bicycle across, a unicycle. Then he gets a wheelbarrow and pushes it across and comes back and forth across the canyon. Then finally he says, you know what? I'm going to put 200 pounds, the, the, the weight of an average human, in this wheelbarrow and walk across this canyon. Who thinks I can do it? Everybody cheered. You can do it. You can do it. We know you can do it. So he does it, and he comes back, and they're all cheering, yay, 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 and then he gets the crowd all pumped up, and he says, wait a minute, who thinks I can push an actual human in this wheelbarrow back and forth across the canyon? And everybody's cheering, yes, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, and then he says, all right, who wants to volunteer to get in the wheelbarrow? Silence. Right. Nobody wanted to get in the wheelbarrow, so... They had faith he could do it until it was time for them to get in the wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about with Abraham here. Abraham had the faith to get in the wheelbarrow every time. When God said get in, Abraham didn't say, I can believe you can do it. But when it's time to get in the wheelbarrow, say, whoa, 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 choose someone else. Abraham got in the wheelbarrow. And he said, God, you're in control, right? You think of the person who would get in that wheelbarrow. Whose hands are you in? The tightrope walker, right? He had complete control. You're not going to do anything. You're just sitting in a wheelbarrow. He had to be the one to make all the decisions. That's how we have to look at our relationship with God. We've got to get in and just let him go. 
That's and right. we got to have the faith that we're going to end up on the other side. That's right. You know, uh, I, I've, I've heard this story with Pete, and one of the things that the tightrope walker talked about was, the, okay, you know, if you get in this wheelbarrow and I said to lean left, you need to lean left. It's not just about um, getting in and taking part of what God says. You've got to make sure that you recognize his voice and are able to follow the instructions that he gives us, no matter what you may be facing no matter what kind of fear or anxiety may may come up, you've got to say, okay, God, I trust you. Okay, God, I trust mm -hmm. you. No matter what your situation looks like, you can't deny uh, the glory of God that's around you. Right. There's another analogy in Facing the Giants where the janitor tells the coach. He's like, mm -hmm. hey, two men are praying for rain. Uh, both, the, it's been a drought. The fields are dry. Two of them are praying for rain, and one of them is on his knees before God, crying out, send rain, send rain, send rain. The other one is out plowing his field, planting his, his harvest, getting ready for the rain to come. Who had the faith? That's the one that was plowing, ready for the, the rain. Right, he put his faith in action. Mm -hmm. And that's what Abraham did. Abraham lived out mm -hmm. his faith every day. That's absolutely right. You know, uh, as we end um, this first blog i mean first video here today we just want to encourage you to have faith in god to trust him you know no matter what your cir circumstances and your situation looks like you know you want to be found faithful you want to be counted yes. righteous uh, because of your faith in god um just pursue him trust him uh, let go of the things that bind you let go of the things of this world and uh, cling to God and what is good. Um, so we believe that every day as a Christian that you're going to pursue God. And one of the ways that we, well, four of the ways that we talk about pursuing God every day um, <clears throat> is this. We want you to encounter God. We want you to exalt God. We want you to edify yourself by reading the Word of God. And we want you to engage this world for Jesus Christ. That's right. So remember to read Romans chapter 4 this week as we study and as we put out the, the blogs and the videos. And you will uh, be able to, to help us to learn even. So uh, until next time, may God bless you.